printed these at about the, the most detailed version as possible for the ecorche and it took about three days for each part. So I have the lower, lower half. All of this is available at Dinkyverse for free. You can just download it or go to my Patreon page. It is readily available. And the torso, I just printed it now. Remember, I just removed the supports, and the supports are a little bit on the difficult side. But this part is pretty clean. Here, we're gonna use super glue. Uh, there's like a gel and a regular. I'm gonna use the regular for gluing all of this together. But make sure that you remove all the supports because you don't want it to be lumpy when you put it back. My super glue, and I think I'm gonna put a little bit here in the base. This one's kind of gel. Yeah, this one's the gel version. I prefer the, the regular. And I think you want to use something like this. This sort of glue is an epoxy. Just gonna... And this stuff has gotten very expensive. I don't know if you guys have been to Home Depot lately. This is where I bought it. The price has just gone up so much. And super glue works great. It takes a few minutes to fully glue it. Just make sure you have good surface to join it. Just put it right here. The good thing about this is that gravity kind of pushes it down and you don't have to rely on anything else. There's a little bit of a joining problem here, but I think that's fine. The super glue doesn't take a lot to get fully seated, but I just want to make sure that I push it down and uh, get it as even as possible. I'm very surprised that these 3D printers are so usable. And I think when you combine it with the 3D scanning, it just makes so much more sense for a traditional sculptor. Uh, I prefer scanning in my stuff and giving it to a lot of people. You know, I don't make a lot of money selling sculptures, but to me, the sculpture process is much more interesting. This is already kind of dry. If I rotate it, you see it looks pretty good. There are a little bit that we're gonna to have to repair. So the top part is a little bit more concerning because it's not a 100% good top and I'll show you why. Right here in the front there's a kind of a deep seam and I think what happened when I printed it it warped it and also the chin didn't come out very well it actually didn't print out the chin. Uh, sometimes this happens with the support that doesn't fully do it so I could just if I want it I could just do this top part again because I did it with a mesh mixer and that probably would take care of the warping over here as well. But I'm just gonna go ahead and do this and then I'll try and fix this on my own. So this is kind of what it looks like. We're gonna get some of the super glue. And we're gonna put it at the base. And you have to be pretty fast with super glue because it dries pretty fast. All right, so I'm just gonna add this. There's a little bit of glue here. I'm just gonna remove that. And I'm just going to try and get it as even as possible. Come up to the arm here. I'm just going to push it. Uh, you know, even though it's uh, the top part that imprint perfectly, it does look pretty darn good. So one of the things I'm going to try is this. You could try coke, but I'm going to try this thing. I was thinking maybe you could even use acrylic white paint and get this sealed in. In the Hulk sculpture, if you watch the 3D printed version, I actually melted filament and I filled it. But I'm going to try this. Coke from Home Depot probably would work fairly well. So I'm just going to dab it in my finger here. And I'm going to get it all in here. You might have to sand this, but you know, Coke is sandable, paintable Coke. So that might work, and I think it's a whole lot better than the uh, 
the melting of the plastic because when you melt plastic, unfortunately, it smells up your studio. And then I'm going to take a sponge, a wet sponge, and I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to take a sponge, a wet sponge, and I'm going to wipe off all the excess. Let's see if that will work. Actually, it seems to work pretty well. This is a technique for home de developers and So I think I will have to sand this and just get this. But from a distance, it looks pretty good. You can still see the seam, but a lot of it, it has to do with just the, the difference in the, the plastic. I, I think I just have to sand it. You know what, you're kind of re-sculpting this a, a bit. If you guys have any better ideas for making this seamless, Post up in the comments below because, you know, this is pretty new for me, the 3D world and mesh mixer. So I'm still learning all of this stuff. This is the first 3D print of the Ecorche. This is available free on Thingiverse and also my Patreon page, so check that out. The reason I think this in particular is very important, it's a very popular sculpture for artists, and this is the original. This is what I scanned in to get this. I also have the arm, but the arm is a little bit harder to kind of get it on here. And I think with this, even with this left arm, you get the full anatomy. But I wanted to make this available for everybody. Makes a great Christmas gift if you can print this out. You might be able to print this in different uh, sections. Remember, this is slightly smaller than this. This is a much heavier plaster. It was rather expensive when I bought it at the time. So with technology and the ability of scanning, I almost don't feel there's much need to buy these reproductions anymore. They do look great, you know, plaster always has that really cool look. So what is next with this? So first of all, download it. I'll put it in the link in the description, but also the next step is to sand off the seams and then paint it again. I think I'll probably use a flat white paint, but I want it to keep it white because you can see the values much more. But I, that's it. That is the complete process for the 3D sculpture here. And this is slightly smaller than the other one, but I think it turned out pretty well. Uh, I, I definitely like it. I probably will print another one. If you print one, post in the comments below. I'd love to see it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.